All right, hi everyone. This is Kushal Shrivish Mali. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm gonna demo Context Pilot to you. I think the best way to show what Context Pilot is probably show the related um, plugins that already do it. So I'm gonna show you Rust Rover, for example. Let me quickly bring it here. So I'm in the Zen mode. Let me exit the Zen mode for you all. Right. So over here I have. Um, let's try to select any piece of text. Okay. Uh, essentially the code. And when you do right click, you will see Get over here. And then there is history that you can see, right? So show history for selection, right? And when you do that, what you're gonna see is all, all the commits that have actually touched the particular sele selection, right? So if you can click on these things, this is very relevant and very useful as well. The commit message is also here. So you can see all this detail, okay? Uh, one thing possible, of course, like this is PyCharm or JetBrains IDs, right? So they do provide that. But of course, let's go back to VS Code. VS Code does not provide it by default. So you'll have to install GitLens extension. Um, and this feature I think in GitLens is um, for free, but not everything is free as well. Though let's go back and let's go to any file, right? Over here, this is algorithm I have. So let's look at GitLens over here. Let's probably select some piece of code and do GitLens inspect and do line history. So as you can see, like this is showing the line history to you. This is showing the file history to you. So ideally you can just select any piece of code and see the history of it, right? So probably let's go to a bigger file. Let's try to, uh, I think, yeah, I, this might make sense. So we can go over here. There you see that this is a line history, right? So you can click on it and you can see what has changed, right? So as you can see, most of it is touch, uh, touching the part that we have selected actually. Right, so init server and all, and you can see what this file does, open revision, all of these things. Um, the problem is, first of all, uh, you cannot talk to it, right? My goal was that, okay, you should be able to talk with all these commits because it's not really useful for you to scroll through them, right? And the end goal should be able to ideally just explore this via LLMs because they are very powerful nowadays for these kind of things, right? So, and and of course this history does provide you with many more details other than just this, right? So let me do this context pilot and do generate diffs, right? And I think I've shown this in the previous videos, but let's also do it again. So I can do copilot, add selection to chat, right? Tabularize this for me, the changes for me over time. Uh, mention the main things that have changed, right? So I'm going to ask LLM to summarize this diff for me. So basically it will look at all the commits that have ever changed this piece of code. And it's going to summarize this in a tabular form where you can actually see that, okay, you know, this commit changed something, uh, what, what all happened. So let's actually close this buffer as it's not really useful anymore, but you can see, right? September uh, 27, 2020, 2023 is simple CLI. Um, then we made it asynchronous server, then we made asynchronous plus recursion, and then we made it thread safe server. Now, now this is very useful, right? So when, for example, um, you know, you want to probably go back and say that, hey, you know, when was the server even not asynchronous, all right? You can say that, okay, 2023, the server was not asynchronous, right? Uh, in 2024, we made it thread safe server. That means there was a comment that made sure that things are thread safe as well, right? So this is, I believe, like really, really good way to look at any piece of code. And there are some critical bug fixes that have happened in October 2024 as well. Right. So this is very useful. Um, now, of course, there are other things you can do as well. One of those things was probably not so useful here, but you are curious that, okay, you know, what other files I should look at if I'm looking at is valid file helper function, right? So you can do right click context pilot and you can say that, okay, can you please give me get context files for the selected range? Now, as you can see, it says server.rs is um, the most relevant out of these. You can click, if it's not available, it will tell you that means that at some point of time it used to exist, but it doesn't exist anymore, right? So um, of course, main underscore second dot rs and all they used to exist before, but yeah, you can click on any other file list and, and it will open up for you. Now, this is very useful for cases when you want to figure out that here, uh, um, where is the test for this function, right? So in that case, it will definitely point you out that, okay, you know, the text, uh, the test for this function is probably uh, where you're looking for. So these things are important. So I would say that um, this is a worth 
uh, trying out project for you all i hope you like this overall i'll keep coming on with demos i'll keep coming with how to use context pilot for you all so that you can get started and use it at your own discretion that this is uh, still under testing so please make sure that you keep giving uh, critical and regular feedback uh, on my github repository i'll really appreciate that it's context pilot rs uh, hyphen in between planning to rename the project so you might uh, see it changing so i'll do update the video i'll update the video in case that happens thank you so much everyone this is kushash flowy shimali and you are watching this on my youtube channel if you like the content please make sure to like and subscribe in case you don't decide to like and subscribe that's totally fine by me as well as long as this gets used i'm very happy thank you bye bye